Hey everyone, welcome to another video. So for a month or so, I have been trying Amazon Slide Sale service. It's a pretty good service for around 3.5 US dollars or 225 rupees or 255. Yeah, it's 255, sorry. 255 rupees, I get around one TB data transfer, uh, one virtual core CPU core, 512 MB RAM and 20 GB SSD space. The one of the few things that I have been trying on the Amazon Light Sale is running my own custom OpenVPN server and using that on my PFSense. Okay, and the setup is actually working surprisingly well. So if you have Amazon Light Sale and you want to run a OpenVPN server on it and use it on your PFSense or on your PC or or whatever device of your choice, I believe this video is going to be a help for you. So without wasting any more time, let's get to the tutorial part. So hey everyone, here we are on Amazon Light Sales dashboard. To set up a OpenVPN server, we have to first create a server. So to create a server, simply click on create instance. Choose your region of your choice. The, you can run app as well, okay? And you would be able to set up uh, OpenVPN server just as fine, or you can only run an OS. It would, it is your choice. Uh, for this setup, I am just keeping things simple and I am using a OS only and the machine would be a Debian server, okay? You can uh, increase your instance plan uh, according to your needs. I'm just keeping it again three at $3.5. You can change the name here. I'm typing in VPN or you can keep it default. So then simply click on create instance. Okay, the server is now ready. Click on its name go to networking and assign a static IP. Okay, you can have up to five uh, static IPs at no additional cost. Okay, so click on create. Now you have attached a static IP to this uh, server. To assign this static IP, reboot your machine. Even it's when it says it's running, it, it's actually not when you uh, connect using SSH, it won't connect. So give it some time, a minute or two and it would work fine. Okay, see it's only blank. Okay, we are ready. So the first command would be quite generic and that is to do apt get update and then sudo app get upgrade Now our server is up to date. To set up an open VPN server, come to, I will have the link to the script in the video's description. All you would have to do is copy this URL, paste it inside your SSH instance, type in sudo and paste. You have to, uh, you have to right click and paste. Control V I guess won't work here. So, we are done here. Now type in sudo bash open v vpn install dot sh. Now type in the static IP of your server, which in my case is three dot seven dot twenty nine dot one thirty four. If you have access to IPv6, you can enable its port. If you don't, just type in N. And for this uh, demo, I'll be using a random port. So instead of choosing one, I will type three here and press enter. The protocol would be UDP. 
and the now the DNS server. You can run your own recursive resolver with the help of Unbound and this script would automate its process as well. Uh, okay, so you won't have to do anything, but to keep the things, uh, it would be simple to let me just use two. It won't make, um, it won't make any change to the, to the setup. So I'll be using my own recursive resolver, okay? Uh, customize encryption setting. You can just go uh, press enter here, but just to show you what it does, I'm typing in Y. Okay. Now we have to type in the client name. You can type any client name you like. I'm just using VPN. Okay, my dear people, before moving ahead, uh, PFSense currently does not support uh, encrypted private keys. So you would have to uh, use passwordless client, but you there is a way you can uh, encrypt your private keys, okay? In the config file of VPN, I will show you. Uh, for to decrypt your private keys, I'll have a bit about that in the video's description. For now, I'm just using a passwordless client. Okay, OpenVPN client on Windows does support a encrypted private keys and it would ask for you your, for you to enter the password whenever you would want to connect to your OpenVPN server. But PFSense uh, currently does not support that. Okay, so I'm using just selecting one. Okay, so our, our uh, config file is now ready. To open our config file, can, we have to type cat. I had used the name VPN, so I have my I have to type VPN here, and the uh, other word is OVPN. Okay, there is our uh, config file for the client. If you know a better way to do this, please do tell me. I just know the this way. Okay, <laughs> which is to copy these lines, then click on copy. Create a new file and text. Again, you have to right click and copy. Uh, control C and Control V, I believe, won't work. Okay, so if you had your if you had used password during the setup uh, setup process, this uh, this part okay, this private key would have been encrypted, and you would not be able to import this pr encrypted private key to P PFSense. Okay, so this right here is not encrypted for now. Okay, before moving ahead, copy this port because we have to port forward it to connect to this and go to networking, add rule, uh, the protocol was UDP and the port was, port is in my case is 55,847. You can further secure your OpenVPN server by restricting it to an IP address if you have, if you use static IP, okay? But if you don't, you can just leave it empty. Click on create. And we have forwarded, forwarded this port. Now we have to save this file as vpn.ovpn. Okay, there, there is the file. 
it's just to show you that the setup is now working. So there is openvpn config folder and let's click on connect. And tada, we have connected to the to the OpenVPN server. Okay, let's see what is our is my IP, and it is three seven twenty nine one dot one thirty four, which is the static IP of this server. So it is this easy. Okay. Now we are doing this to now we would be adding a our VPN to the PFSense. If you only want to use this on your phones and on your PC, you are done for now. This is only for the users who use PFSense and the setup is uh, yeah, it's pretty much it's di different. So this is the dashboard of PFSense. Okay, to set up a light sales VPN on PFSense. Go to up, uh, go to certificate manager. Click uh, we are on CA. Click on add and choose this from beginning to the end certificate. And method is import an existing certificate authority. Uh, description name can be anything. I'm using my VPN. Okay, and uh, you have to use this begin and end certificate. Okay, otherwise the certificate, otherwise you won't be able to uh, bring import this certificate. Click on save. Now go to certificates and copy this part. Click on add uh, slash sign. Import an existing certificate. My VPN certificate data. Then this is the private key. Import in private key data. Click save. Now we have uh, imported our certificates. Now come to uh, VPN, open VPN, clients. Click on add. Now let's start adding our details to this config. Okay. Uh, the server ad address is this. Paste it. The port is this, paste this. Okay, the, uh, the setup would be pretty much the same for you as well. So you can follow this as well. You can type in the description or keep the box empty. It won't matter. For TLS configuration, uh, remove this tick mark and use this key instead. TLS key use method is TLS encryption and authentication. It is important, my dear people. For peer certificate authority, it is my VPN. Okay. If you have uh, any other certificate authority on your PFSense, you would have to use your uh, OpenVPN server certificate, uh, certificate authority. The client is my VPN. So client certificate okay we are not using username or password with this open vpn we are using a certificate remove them oh sorry i removed the wrong one actually it's gacm i have to remove other two it's sha256 okay in custom options add explicit exit notify uh, we have already done this, so we don't have to. Now resolve, retry infinite. Persistent key. Auth no cache, cache. TLS client, TLS minimum version 1.2. And that is, that is it. Okay, my dear people, we are only using gateway creation IPv4 and verbosity is default by three. So you don't have to change this. Click on save and now click on related status. And we have connected our, our instance to the open VPN server. Okay. To, uh, but for now, let me just disconnect this first.
our open vpn server is not working okay to to make a vpn uh to 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 tunnel our uh, networks traffic to open vpn server we have to go to firewall net outbound here change the mode from if it is on automatic change it to hybrid or manual then click on save then click on add okay in the interface type in uh, it's your open vpn okay it's uh, uh yeah 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 and you don't have to change anything else here okay click on save oh sorry it's actually any so let's see and our open vpn and we are using a uh, now our whole network is under the umbrella of the our of our open vpn server so this was it and uh, the uh, we have disconnected from here we are using pf sensors as our vpn gateway now so my dear people this was it i hope you would be able to follow my steps yeah yeah this is about it i have the hopes to see you in the next one bye everyone